Hi, it's Dr. Jack. I'm so excited you enjoyed my video yesterday, and I'm really excited to read another book for you. I've got to tell you about my books. I've got a lot of them. And most of them I read to my kids when, uh, when they were really little, and they're mostly grown now. So I'm really excited for the chance to read some of these books to you. The book I'm reading today is uh, another one that I can remember reading a, a lot because it's a great book. It's called Where Is That Cat? by Carol Green, illustrated by Loretta Kropinski. Where is that cat? One snowy day, Miss Perkins went out to get her mail. She found one letter two bills, and a cat. Hello, cat, she said. What's your name? Did you see the cat? Just then a snowflake landed on the cat's nose. Fitz, he sneezed. Fitz, said Miss Perkins. That's a good name. Well, you better come in, Fitz. It's too cold out here for you. She took him into the kitchen and gave him some tuna and a bowl of milk. Now, Fitz, she said, you cannot stay here. I like to keep my house neat and tidy, so I don't want a cat but I will put an ad in the newspaper and find you a good home. The ad ran in the evening paper, wanted, good home for a fluffy cat named Fitz. The next day, a man and a little girl arrived. We've come to see the cat, they said. Fine, said Miss Perkins. Now, where is that cat? She looked all around. Hmm, she said. No fits. Thank you anyway, said the man and the little girl. And they left. I'm going to leave this up here for a minute. See if you can find fits. Did you see him? That night, Fitz curled up on the rug beside Miss Perkins' bed and began to purr. My, that sounds nice, said Miss Perkins, and she fell asleep. There's a clue. The next day, a woman and a little boy arrived. We've come to see the cat, they said. Fine, said Miss Perkins. Now where is that cat? She looked all around. Hmm, she said. No fits. Thank you anyway, the wo said the woman and the little boy. And they left. Did you find fits? Where he was. That night, Fitz licked the tip of Miss Perkins's nose. A kiss, said Miss Perkins. What a sweet cat you are. The next day, a teenage girl arrived. I've come to see the cat, she said. Fine, said Miss Perkins. Now, where is that cat? She looked all around. Hmm, she said. No fits. Thank you anyway, said the teenage girl. And she left. Did you find him? That night, Fitz slept on top of Miss Perkins's feet. My, that felt good, said Miss Perkins. 
that's where he was. Have you ever slept with a cat on your feet? Dr. Jack asked. The next day, an old man arrived. I've come to see the cat, he said. Fine, said Miss Perkins. Now, where is that cat? She looked all around. Hmm, she said, no fits. Thank you anyway, said the old man, and he left. Can you see him? He's sound asleep. That night, Fitz chased a mouse right out the door. A mouse in my house, cried Miss Perkins. Oh, Fitz, you're such a clever, brave, remarkable cat. How can I ever thank you? That's where he was on the last page. And that's Fitz going after the mouse. The next day, an old woman arrived. I've come to see the cat, she said. I'm very sorry, said Miss Perkins, but I have decided to keep the cat. Thank you anyway, said the old woman, and she left. One more chance to find Fitz. Can you find him? Did you hear that, Fitz, called Miss Perkins? I've decided to keep you. You are my clever, brave, remarkable cat. She looked all around. Now where is that cat? And Fitz purred. Home. Fitz was home. That's the end. Thanks for reading my story with me tonight. I want to introduce you to somebody. This is one of my cats. This is Max.